Good morning on this active day. We have our first accumulations of the season in some areas. Big day here in the weather department, and there are areas where we've got a little mix, a little melting going on. This is our view in Grand Forks where we've got wet conditions out there, and you can see the uh, the water on our camera dome right now obscuring our view. So this may be something you encounter today, especially this morning as we are kicking off our day and temperatures are closer to the freezing mark. So we've got some caution lights for you for your travels today. We're looking at snow showers or a mix being possible. It will be scattered to isolated, so not necessarily affecting you all day. I don't expect that, but the potential is there uh, throughout the day to see some of this. This is our DOT view in Thief River Falls. You can see some snow streaking across the DOT cam, some of that melting on the camera as well. And I just want to point out the road surface here behind this vehicle or ahead of this vehicle rather. Uh, you can see it pretty well. Now there are areas where temperatures are at that freezing range where we may see some slick spots, I would say on those bridge decks, those elevated decks and bridges uh, that you may be uh, running into some slick areas. But most of this is on the, the more liquid side once it's on the ground because of the warmer uh, ground temperatures right now. But still, I would just say be careful here uh, this morning, one of our first snow events of the season. So we've got two areas, one that's been dropping south very quickly and then the other one in the Northern Valley that continues to cross over Highway 2 stretching from around Grand Forks. Now Grand Forks has been interesting because the radar has been switching back and forth between blue and green, meaning that it's uh, trying to decide if we're seeing rain or snow there uh, this morning and we might be, have been getting a little bit of both. This is dropping southward now and you can see some heavy snow detected on the radar moving toward the Northwood area. Might be some mixing again going on there. Crookston back to Red Lake Falls and back over to the east from there toward Faustin and all the way over toward Bemidji and Red Lake might be seeing some snow. We had that snow earlier in Fargo. It's quieter. There have been a few flakes. You can see south of the metro uh, seeing that. And then this other line from Sisseton back through Edgeley and Ellendale where the radar is indicating that there may be a little bit of mix happening. That's where temperatures are more into the upper 30s, 37 in Jamestown and at Oaks. But over to the east, we're at 31 in Bemidji. So below freezing here, 32 in Thief River Falls in Detroit Lakes and Fergus Falls where we're in that low range. So again, these spots might have some slick areas, but again, that would be more on those elevated surfaces. And just like that, where we've gotten the snow, it's more likely to have accumulated on your car that's been sitting out all night or perhaps uh, your decks at home, but not necessarily on the sidewalks where you are. So going to be one of those mornings. Here's a look at our wind speeds. We are seeing some numbers that are lower in the south. We've got a gust of 30 in Langdon. So breezy weather still hanging around the northern valley, and we could see that throughout the day. So another day where we've got some wind, not as strong as yesterday or the day before, but still on the breezy side and combine that with falling snow or some mixed precipitation and that's going to lead to one of those raw days that just doesn't feel great outside. So here's a look at that noon hour. Temperatures getting close to 40 at that point. So you can see that we may start to mix over more toward rain anywhere where we still have some scattered precipitation and then that starts to wind down tapering off for a bit into the nighttime hours for tonight. So again this evening we'll start to dry out a little bit but it will be cold. We're looking at temperatures into the 30s by the time we get into the 9 o'clock hour. One more round of this for some of us, maybe not for everybody, but up to the north and east, another uh, bout of snow or rain into Saturday morning before that clears out for uh, the weekend. So here's a look at what to expect through Saturday. Again, lesser amounts of snow going on here uh, into the uh, valley, and a lot of that will be melting. Sunday will be the drier day everywhere for everybody, but cool, chilly numbers yeah. heading into next week. Okay, yeah, if you don't feel it already as you head out the door, be uh... Uh, be alerted for this weekend. Exactly. <laughs>